Good morning, folks. We're going over the key space weather event yesterday. Good news is that there's no cause for concern, but it seems that nobody else is acknowledging the event. Let's see if you can spot what the other major sources are missing, and let's go to the last 24 hours on our star. There were small M-class flares, but only one of them was of consequence, a slightly longer duration event that occurred in an emerging active region. Did you catch it? Well, let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look. It included the snap of a small filament near the sunspots. I hope you can see the coronal clearing from the shock wave emerging from the flashpoint. It produced a radio surge indicating a CME erupted, and coronagraphs seem to suggest the same. This is Lasco C3 from Soho, and you can see the partial halo event largely coming from the southern hemisphere, but with a relatively widespread to the plasma ejection. The NASA Enlil Spiral is an automatic program, and it's picked it up showing a glancing blow coming later this week. Shouldn't be anything major or scary, but it's coming. It's also noteworthy that the sunspot that fired the M9 solar flare in yesterday morning's show is now turning into view. We also still have the big sunspot active region on the south, still morphing around. It has only a touch of magnetic mixing at this hour, but plenty more potential, and as I said, still moving. Wouldn't be surprised to see more eruptions today, but right now there are no warnings or alerts for the Earth-directed event we already have. I'm pretty sure it's coming. I hope you agree based on what you saw here today. We'll continue watching the sun and the space weather sources to see if they catch up and acknowledge the incoming event. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.